Hello, everyone. In response to the issues that Exam had during the COVID-19 pandemic, the ISTQB approved the use of remote proctoring for the exams. Since then, you can take the exam online from home. In this video, we will learn where to register for the ISTQB exam. How much does it cost? And what are the rules of an online exam from home? And also, we will review the test exam tool. On the basis of this, you will know what the real exam looks like. Let's begin. We pass exams on the iSQI website. The link to the website will be in the materials for the video. On this website, you can find more than 30 different software testing exams, various preparatory materials and even an online tool for the test exam. Let's take a look at how the registration process works. We are not sure how long the banner with the fourth version of the certification will be available, so we will take the longer route. Click on the software testing, tap in the header. A page with 30 exams will open, and among them you need to find the one that interests you. In our case, it is ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation Level 4.0, it's very, very important to read the title carefully because the ISTQB exams are very similar to each other. Therefore, read the name of the exam you choose very carefully. If you are preparing for the foundation level and registering for advanced, you will be very unpleasantly surprised by the difficulty of the questions. After you click on the desired exam, the details page will be displayed, and here there are several features that are worth noting. First of all, language. For some reason, it sometimes defaults to Spanish. Therefore, do not forget to change the language to English. The second thing to pay attention to is the exam method. You need Flex, Remote Proctor option, if you want to take the exam online from home. If the candidate's native language is not the examination language, the candidate is allowed to have the time extension. That's why, if English isn't your native language, don't forget to check the time extension checkbox when you'll register for the exam. It's possible to pay for the option with a second attempt, but it's worth the extra $50. Whether you need it or not, it's up to you. That's all. After you choose the language, an exam method, and check all the boxes, you can proceed to payment. The price for each region may differ, so the price may be higher or lower in your country. After you pay for the exam, you will receive an email. The letter will contain a link and a voucher code. With their help, you can register for the exam. Mostly, there are many free slots every day. Therefore, you can take your time to register for the exam and register only when you finish training. Due to some technical aspects, which we will talk about later in this video, we recommend registering no earlier than 3-4 to four days in advance. After you register for the exam, you will receive a new email. In it you will find a lot of different information, including the rules. It is emphasized in one of the rules, fail to complete the system check by a minimum of 48 hours prior to exam at the latest. This check system is very important and it only takes a few minutes. In one of the letters you will find the following link. Step 2. Complete the system check. 48 hours in advance. Click here. Don't put everything off for later and just take a few minutes to go through it ahead of time. After you follow the link, there will be step-by-step -step instructions that will tell you what to do. Nothing complicated or special. You will need to check the camera, microphone and speakers. Speed and quality of internet connection, hardware and software. We emphasize once again, do not put it off for later the check system takes only a few minutes. And if you do not have time or forget to pass it 48 hours before the exam, then you will not be eligible for a refund. The letter will contain a link to a Google document, a guide to your computer-based exam. The document contains 41 pages of rules and explanations, and we recommend that you read them. We didn't read and therefore struggled a lot of the exam. Before, we did not prepare the workplace correctly. Carefully read all the letters that you receive and all the links they contain. There are a lot of them, 
but they are all important and are there to make the experience of taking the online exam easier for candidates. For example, this 3-minute video, which shows how to prepare the workplace. And although all this sounds important, in fact the rules are very clear and strict. For example, at first glance, it looks like an ideal workplace. Clean, tidy, nothing extra on the table or around the table. Stop the video and read the rules and think about what's wrong with the workplace we showed earlier. According to the rules, almost everything on the table must be removed. Pens and pencils are not allowed. Books, magazines and even one blank page are not allowed. Any devices, even a desk clock, are not allowed. In a word, everything is not allowed. Apart from a smartphone and a computer. The workplace should look like it's your last day at the company and everything is already packed in a cardboard box. As we said before, we did not read this rule before the exam and during the exam we spent 5 minutes clearing everything from the table. This is additional and unnecessary stress. Another important rule that looks simpler than it really is. This is that the phone must be at a certain distance from you, inserted into the socket and shot you on the camera. For some people, it is not a problem, as shown in a picture. The phone is on the table behind the candidate. But it is not so easy to prepare a workplace for everyone. Therefore, it should be thought through and done in advance. After preparing for your workplace, you can proceed to the exam. In one of the letters, there will be a link that you need to follow in order to start the exam. If you do this early, you will be shown a page with the exact time of your exam. It's very important to pay attention to the time zones, not to miss the exam. You will have 45 minutes from the start time of the exam you registered for. That is, if you registered for 12 o'clock, the time slot will be open until 12.45. This time does not affect the duration of the exam. Let's take a look at how the exam looks like online. Click on the Ready button. This is what the online exam looks like. The questions are displayed on the left. There is a control panel at the top of the header. In the upper right corner, we see a timer. Since there are 40 questions and 60 minutes, it is important to follow the timer. One hour is not as much as it seems for the ISTQB exam. Notes are an important feature. If we click on the icon, a separate window for notes opens. This is a very important feature for large K3 level questions. And since it's not allowed to have a pen, a pencil or a sheet of paper, this is the only way to write notes. When you choose the correct answer, then a check mark is displayed next to the question number. This way you can keep track of which questions you have answered. It is not necessary to answer the questions one after the other. You can click on the number of any question. This is also a valuable feature, because there will be 8K3 level questions on the exam. Finding the correct answer to each of them may take more than 5 minutes. And that's why it's best to leave them for last. If you come across a question for which you are not sure of the correct answer, you can leave a mark. A mark will appear next to the check mark and you can return to it after answering all the questions. After you answer all the questions, you can complete the exam yourself instead of waiting for the remaining time to run out. After clicking on the finish button in the header, don't worry, the exam will not end automatically after clicking. A message will be displayed where you will have to confirm that you want to complete the exam. The results of the exam can sometimes be shown immediately after exam, but mostly they come in letters to email within one or two days. In our case, they came one or two hours after the exam was over. That's all we wanted to discuss about the online exam. We wish you to pass with the best result on the first attempt. We hope to see you in the next video.